My name is Warren Crocs, I'm a PhiladelphiaSalt.com, and this week after practice we talked to James Romain, Rayshon Kaiser, and Andre Thurman about last week's win at home and their upcoming preparation for the Tampa Bay Storm. Well, basically it feels good to win at home, you know, in front of your home crowd, in front of your fans that, you know, they come out and cheer for you. Uh, we lost the first three games at home, which was very disappointing. I know it made some of our fans mad. But, you know, when, when you win at home, it brings good feelings, you know, it, it gives that, 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 that urge to, to, to do it again. You know what I'm saying? And keep pushing. So. I mean, when you're playing against greats, you know, you, you want to play your best game. You know it's going to be competition out there. You know he's going to, you know what I'm saying, put the ball where only his receivers can get it. So when you're able to steal a pass like that and, and, and take it for six, it, it's very good. And you know that that goes to show the type of film you watch and pre preparation you put in that week. It's great, man. We've been working for that for too long, but we should have been got the first home win. But, you know, we fortunate enough to get our first home win, so we just taking advantage of it. It started at practice, man. You got, you know, we, we took practice a little more serious last week because we actually wanted to get the um, win more. So, you know, start at practice. Start with the little things first, and then they carry over in the game. It, it's it's a ton because you can't you, you can't just focus on on one guy. You know, I, I played with Clinton, 15 and one teams, 13 and three teams, and receiver wise, we just got as much as talent on this team that we did on that team. And, and we've got guys like I said, Alvance, who's not even playing, hasn't played in a while. So we've got a ton of talent. Just got to put it all together. Uh, still, to me, it's kind of the midway season. I think that you'll see. Uh, more out of us as a receiving quarter the rest of the season. It, it's it's uh it's a good thing. Cause I think we figured that out early, man. I, I think we came with, and uh, I know Tiger. He, he's a veteran. Uh, Boogie, he's a, he's a veteran. Al Vance is a veteran. I myself's a veteran. We got guys that you know we've been so called the go-to receiver on a lot of different teams, and I think that we set set our pride aside to to better for the team, and that's the win, and, and that's kind of what we're doing right now. And I think it's going to pay off uh, throughout the rest of the season. Um, we just got to stay in our lanes. I know up front we got to stay in our lanes. We got to contain them. Um, I know in the back end we got to have good coverage because he actually scrambled a lot, used his feet to make throws. So we just got to, you know, we just got to stay in our lanes and be focused, man. We'll, we'll take care of that. You know, stay in our rushing lanes and, and contain him, force him to throw the ball. You know, he likes to hold the ball. And for us DBs, we must lock on. Even if the play looks like it's over, we must still continue to run with our receivers because they might slip behind us or something. So basically for our DBs and, 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 and our linemen, we just got to play through the play to the whistle blow. Well, basically the play is never over when you're playing against a running quarterback. I mean, you can have good, great coverage on the receivers and he, he, he buys time with his legs and receivers run around and that's when receivers get open and he can just dump it right to him, turn a five-yard gain or six-yard sack into a touchdown or something. So. We definitely do. I, I think that we put that in our mindset, uh, you know, after our first few weeks that if on, we don't go. beat ourselves, and that's turnovers, throwing picks, drop balls, miss blocking assignment. If we don't beat ourselves, we feel like we can score every time, and we should score every time. And, and that's the emphasis that we put on ourselves on as an offense. Uh, I know McPherson's a great quarterback. Defense is doing a great job, and, and we have a great game plan for him. Uh, he's a great quarterback. He's a guy that we're going to have all our attention to. But I think that we'll be ready for him. Philadelphia still are on the road this week as they take on the Tampa Bay Storm. Make sure you check out the game this Saturday at 7.30 on the CBS Sports Network. Mm -hmm.